our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow, free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. What is your greatest strength? I feel my greatest asset is perseverance. That is, the ability to stick to things to get them done. Why do you say that? I feel a sense of accomplishment when I finish a job and it turned out just as I'd planned. Good afternoon, Mr. Yang. I'm Jill, Mr. Smith's secretary. Would you like to look around the factory first? Yes, I would. Now this is our office block. We have all the administrative department's sales, accounting, personnel, market research and so on. What's that building opposite us? That's the warehouse where the larger items of medical instruments are stored. We keep a stock of the fast-moving items so that urgent orders can be met quickly from stock. In the workshop, this is one of our three workshops. This is the delivery bay here. Oh, I see. The steel sheets and bars come in, as you see, in different sizes and are unloaded onto the delivery bay here. We buy them in from a steel works in Wales. This is the new conveyor belt we installed last year. We doubled our output in this department as a result. Oh, really? I'll take you to the assembly shop. Even with volume sales our costs for the exec user won't go down much. Just what are you proposing? We could take a cut on the price. But 25% would reduce much our profit margin. We suggest a compromise 10%. That's a big change from 25%. 10% is beyond my negotiating limit. Any other ideas? I don't think I can change it right now. Why don't we talk again tomorrow? Sure. I have to talk to my office anyway. I hope we can find some common ground on this. Robert, I have been instructed to reject the numbers you proposed, but we can try to come up with something else. I hope so, Dana. My instructions are to negotiate hard on this deal, but I'm trying very hard to reach some middle ground. I understand. We propose a structured deal. For the first six months, we get a discount of 20% and the next six months we get 15%. Dana, I can't bring those numbers back to my office. They'll turn it down flat. Then you'll have to think of something better, Robert. Can you drive? Yes. I have a driving license. Are you willing to drive yourself if the job requires? Sure. One more thing. If you are wanted in this position, you must prepare to travel aboard frequently. That's fine with me. Would you mind relocating? As long as it isn't too far from this city, I don't mind. It's quite far away though it's located in another part of the city. Are you planning to find a boarding house nearby? I think I can commute that far without any trouble. Good. Do you have any particular conditions that you want us to take into consideration? No, nothing in particular. Thank you. Then you'll need to know it's a hard job. You'll often have to work overtime or even on weekends. Yes, but I don't mind working hard. We're considering of ordering 200 computers, but I'm wondering about the price you'll possibly offer. Our price will be not less than $5,000. Your price is higher than I expected. Could you give us a little discount? This is already our best price. But the price is always negotiable and you should consider our quantity of order. 
Well, what would you suggest? Could you make it $4,500? I'm afraid that there is no room to negotiate the price. This is the best price we can quote. Can we meet each other halfway? What do you mean? Let's close the deal at $4,800, okay? You drive a hard bargain. Okay, that's a deal. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.